Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got this delivered the other day. This is the Husky Heavy Duty 72 inch 18 drawer adjustable top rolling workbench. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbox it here. It was delivered freight because I didn't have a trailer to go pick it up at the Home Depot. Uh, package weighs 616 pounds according to the label, so I definitely wasn't going to try and move that myself. Uh, it is going to replace this trusty old craftsman toolbox and this about 14 year old workbench that I got from Lowe's. They've both uh, served their purpose quite well, but they're in, uh, they're ready for a replacement. I'm also going to try and consolidate whatever junk I have here in this cabinet and uh, get it all sorted out over here. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right, so here it is out of the box. It was a lot easier to unpack than I thought it would be. Just uh, cut the straps, take the cardboard off, some styrofoam, and unscrew the wooden frame that was on the bottom and just kind of kick those pieces out. And this thing is really nice. The finish on it is great. It's a matte black. The drawers all have really smooth glide ball bearings soft clothes it rolls super easy all right the finish is great everything is sturdy let's take a look at what we got here so we've got our barrel lock keys the little keychain this is all the mats that come with it to line those drawers so your stuff stays put real nice and smooth got all these drawers all right down here we've got our manual and the box that contains our pull handle that installs right here on the side that's where our handle is going to go we've got our power strip a couple of usb ports down there Nice deep drawers here. Everything is full extension, comes all the way out. It's really heavy duty. All right, probably the coolest feature of this toolbox is the raised and lowered top. So if we remove this little plug here, I took this out of the box that was down in there. Here's our crank, it goes right in there. And then as we crank it up, it takes a little longer than I'd like to get to full extension. But you can see underneath here, we've got storage. So that's great to put uh, longer things. I've got a four foot level that uh, I'll keep under there. Fits great right in there. No storage in the center part here because of the crossbar on the top. But as you can see, that raises up to a pretty nice height. So if you're working on something, you can have it right up close to your head. Okay. You don't have to bend down over the workbench. So next step is to put that handle on and then start filling it up and going through all of my accumulated junk to get this garage a little bit better organized. So once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and post another update. All right, went ahead and put the handle on 
and the, uh, the little brackets to hold the extension cord. In the process of doing that, I also discovered that the top scratches pretty easily. And you can kind of see that there. I mean, I know it's a workbench and that it'll get scratched to hell in no time, but uh, I didn't think it would scratch quite that easily. All I did was uh, slide my plastic socket case a little bit on there. So not, not too thrilled about that, but uh, again, it's out here in the garage. It's meant to be have work done on it, so not a huge deal.